Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally here, a DGEN's guide to labs. So if you're worried about labs or scared of labs, watch this video. It will provide you a solid foundation to build off of with these five topics that I'm going to cover. Number one, how to get into labs. Number two, a brief breakdown of my call outs. I'll show you around the map a little bit. Number three, how I approach spawns and fighting on labs. Number four, all of the glorious loot, key card and key card lists. And finally, all of the extracts. Let's jump right into part number one, how to get into labs. Going to labs is super simple all you need is a labs access key card there are plenty of ways to get your hands on one you can find one in raid on scabs bosses you can spawn with one as a player scav or you can buy two from therapist level four there are two separate mechanic barters which give you four from traders total or you could just buy them off flea now so now that you've got your key card you're gonna want to insure your stuff no don't insure your gear. If you die on labs, your loot is gone and you'll get this message from Prapper. Don't sacrifice scabs and don't waste rubles for no reason. Don't insure your gear. You're ready to go into labs? Here are some of my callouts around the map. This entire area is server, upper, back, etc. Server office. This whole corridor from hangar to server office, I just call it back hangar or back server office. Inside these double doors, I call freezer even though this is technically the freezer, the kitchen, break room or cafeteria, skybridge. People like to prone under this blue fence and snipe all the way to parking. Don't even get me started. These are called no audio stairs. There's just no audio and you're gonna be able to surprise somebody up or down. It happens every time. Red stairs inside this doorway. To that doorway is under red because you're under red key card room. I don't have a call out for this area, but I would love one. Leave a comment on what you call this area. Cat, the cross red offices, because it's across from red key card. Parking button, parking button stairs. This entire area is parking. Yellow, yellow stairs. Yellow dark office, managers. Blue dark office, blue tents. The stairwell at the end of the hall is blue stairs. Green stairs are black stairs. They go all the way down. This hallway under yellow dark, I call it S bend. People call it Z. There are two. There's one on either side of the entire parking area. Now that we sort of know our way around, let me break down how I approach spawns and fighting. I split the map in half. You have black key card and red key card. When I spawn in, I identify which side of the map I'm on and I attempt to lock down that area. If you spawn black key card side, you need to lock down server, black key card, green key card, blue key card and sometimes the dark offices if you spawn red key card you need to lock down cafeteria kitchen freezer red key card room cat across from red parking button and yellow i find on labs it's a lot easier to maintain control of where i spawn versus branching out too quickly and getting picked off by somebody that i'm not aware of and i think that also translates to a newer labs player where if you're able to spawn in and establish control and then you'll be able to branch out from there in a more safe manner very simple kind of a kiss scenario keep it simple stupid that's sort of how i fight let me show you why you fight labs loot can be crazy juicy there are three items that only spawn on labs and are incredibly useful and necessary for your hideout starting with the microcontroller board the main function of this thing is the ledx craft at med station three the far forward gps signal amplifier unit or what i like to call the one slaughter this is the item you need to upgrade your intel to level three and lastly the far forward current converter or i like to call the four slaughter you need one of these to get solar power in your hideout whenever i mention a valuable loot spawn that is where you can find these three items. So if you don't have any key cards, let me show you where to loot. Looting the middle area can be pretty dangerous. First, we'll start off with what we call mini med. In here, you're going to find more med spawns as well as some electronics and rare loot on the tables as well as the ground. So always be aware. Then you're going to come through. This desk could have a black key card. In dome, there can be a lead X spawn on these barrels. There will be electronics here. There could be more black key card spawns on this desk and this desk. And there's a couple of computers. Always check this shelf for intel and these tables for more loose med loot and when you make your way to the other side you're gonna come to this gold area rare loot spawn rare loot spawn in these papers as well as four pcs and then you're going to want to get this key this is weapons testing weapons can spawn on these racks some weapon parts a weapon box 
another weapon box some ammo spawns here rare loot right here next to the one weapon box and also rare loot next to the other weapon box next we have manager's office another dangerous place because raiders will aggro you when you're in here make sure to check this desk for a green key card as well as intel there are two doors one on either side of this main conference room a weapons box some valuable loot can spawn right here computer some cabinets another computer and this safe I will only check managers once I'm sort of confirmed safe. Then we're going to check parking button. You're going to check this ottoman as well as right next to this computer. There's also one specific location you have to check in parking. It's between the red car and the Frodo. Bang, right here. That is a rare item spawn. This office, I call it a cross red. And inside there are a couple things to check for. You have a jacket in the corner. You have shelving units that can spawn rare items. More shelving units. This is a rare spawn next to the suitcase. These shelving units and then on this table. There are four PCs and a duffel bag that you could check as well. From across red, you're gonna wanna check cat. The table next to all these binders and the laptop. There could be rare loot next to this weapons box here and here can also be rare loot. Here we have the two best spots to hit. These are called the dark offices. We have the dark office closer to yellow and the dark office closer to blue, green, or black. We're gonna start with the yellow dark office. So one thing about these dark offices is you do need to break the glass to get inside. It will alert the whole map. So just be aware of that when you go in. There are plenty of CPUs to loot for graphics cards, but the rare and valuable loose loot are on these shelving units as well as these shelving units and these safes. Always check on top of the safe and this table can sometimes have some money. Make your way over to blue dark. Check these containers there's going to be a valuable loot spawn right there as well as on these shelves the rare loot in blue dark is going to be on these two shelving units in the middle on this desk next to the laptop as well as on top of this safe if you got lucky and found a key card on a boss or you found one on spawn or you spent a spent a lot of rubles here are all of the key card rooms this is blue key card room let me tell you something about blue it is worth the money ha 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 okay when you walk in here you're gonna be able to find loose med items but importantly always check this desk there can be a green key card spawn and there will be some more loose med spawns behind here but more importantly when you get into blue room there can be loose meds on these desks you're gonna want to check these shelves this is where all of the good things can spawn. Now, do they spawn? No, but they can spawn there. Also check on top of these machines and these beds. Check pretty much everywhere. You have one med box here. Always check these tables and chairs just in case. On this machine, you got another med bag. Some stuff can spawn on this surgery table as well as this desk. And that's blue room. On to green key card room. Now this one is another expensive card and it is slightly more worth it. I have found lead X's in here, unlike blue. This shelf, loose loot. There's gonna be loose loot all along these desks. The, next to this laptop is a rare valuable item spawn, but all along these desks, you're gonna wanna check all throughout. There can be pretty much loose loot anywhere. You have a med box here, and as you walk around, you'll just find random loose loot sometimes it's good like stims other times it's bandages but it is what it is make sure you check these shelves there can be loose med loot as well and like i said just throughout make sure you check all of these desks because there can be loot here now in this back area this is where the valuable stuff actually spawns right in this corner there's going to be a rare valuable loot spawn and Again, along these desks and shelves, make sure you check. And our second one can be on this chair and on the ground all around it. And then you have weapon parts and then a weapons box. And that is green room. This room is the key card with blue smudge. It is right across the hall from green room. This key card is required for the task Terra Group employee, where you have to find a little flash drive and extract with it. Much like all of the other key card rooms, you're going to find loose med loot, stims, etc., on all these shelves and on the desks, and also a jacket. And the flash drive for the task is gonna be right in this laptop. Next stop on our tour is yellow key card, opposite of parking button, a little bit of a high traffic area, but inside what we are going to find is pretty simple. Rare loot is gonna spawn on this chair. There's a button to turn off all the announcements, a computer, and some weapon parts. 
A solid key, worth the money over time, I think. This is black key card room. It has two little areas on either side of these doors. This is the best room in all of labs. And what you're going to see in here is on these chairs and on the floor and in the corners, there's just going to be a ton of stims as well as the chances for Ledexes, Ophthalmoscopes, and Defibs. Look at Ledex. And don't forget to check inside this patient room because there could be stims on this gurney as well as on the floor around it. I like to take two injectors cases just because of the amount of injectors that I find. On to the money, the room everybody loves. That's right, red key card room. On these shelves, you're gonna have some loose meds. You have a duffel right here, weapons box, bunch of computers. On these shelves, green key card can spawn here. This is the second best labs card in my opinion. Check all the shelves and the ground. For rare loot you're gonna have a ton of weapon parts valuable loot can spawn all along the floor there and in the chair then you have two more weapon boxes and in this cage check these shelves for more and another weapon box that is violet but if we move to red this is the big money now a couple things about red that are interesting number one it's way too expensive number two swipe to open the door and you open it and then you shut it again, you need to re-swipe the card. It is the only room in labs that does this. With red, you can theoretically, hypothetically, trap people inside of it. I'm not saying I've done it before, but it is funny when it happens. On your left shelving, you're gonna find a bunch of ammo. On this can be a valuable spawn. On this desk can be a valuable spawn. In these shelves, valuable spawn. On these racks, weapons, weapon parts. Now this takes its own key. This is the labs arsenal key. It is a key within a key. We love that. Something important to do if you don't want to waste a usage, jump up on this desk, look at the top shelf for valuable loot, see if it's quote unquote worth it. Let's say we want that gold chain. We unlock it. And if you can't find it from the floor, what you're going to have to do, open one of these and jump on top. You'll be able to loot this top shelving area. Now, is red worth it? Absolutely not. It is basically just a flex. We've gathered all of our loot and we're ready to leave. It's time to talk about extractions. Each extract requires that you hit a button, except for one, it's backpackless. And every time you hit the button to power on the extract, raiders will spawn. Raiders are juiced up scavs. They're gonna spawn with a ton of solid loot and they have aimbot, so that's always fun. Keep that in mind when you're taking your approach to extract, but here they all are. Starting with parking button. Across from yellow and down the hall from red. Inside this room, this is your key. When you open the gates, you will hear sector Y. If you also double tap O, you will notice parking gate turns green, a sign that it is open. When you hit this button, raiders will spawn in that whole area and walk out into the garage itself. They can also spawn kind of in this general area. In this little shed is hangar gates button. It is down the hall from kitchen and also right outside of server. Come into this little shed and you're gonna open the gates. When you hear sector B, that is the hangar gate opening. Raiders are going to be spawning inside the hangar as well as outside this metal area. Now the difference between hangar and parking versus the next three I'm gonna show you, medical, cargo, and main, these buttons aren't always available. And when they're not, you're SOL, you gotta find another way out. Next, I'll show you the three elevator buttons that are always available. Starting with medical elevator. Outside of black, these are black stairs. You're going to go down into the basement. That is the medical elevator, but it needs power to restore the power. Head down all the way to this dead end inside the power room. Boom, turn on the elevator. Make note, there is a server drop down into this room. And once you turn on the power, it should have power, green button. Call the elevator. It's gonna take about 15-ish seconds to appear. The doors shall part. You'll head inside and bam, press the button and you're out. But for cargo elevator, head down the hall a little bit further into boiler room. That's what I call this little connector. Inside this gate, boom, turn on the elevator. You'll notice when you hit this button, as well as when you hit medical block button, you didn't hear an alert, but 
the rest of the lobby is going to hear the alert. And for medical block elevator, you're going to hear... Внимание персоналу. Лифты в секторе О введены в строй. That is sector O. And when you hit cargo elevator button, you're going to hear... Внимание. Охране комплекса просьба проследовать в сектор... G. So you have O, G, the cargo elevator is located at the top of blue stairs. Something special about cargo elevator that separates it from main and medical is that it can only be used as an extract one time. But it works the same. You're going to hit the button. The elevator shall appear. And it's going to take a little bit longer to open, but same principle. You're going to press the button. And I'll show you that it is a one-time use. Once the door is shut, it will be red on the extract list. There you go. Now, let's go to main elevator. Notice we are standing outside of red and across red. Inside this metal room, you're going to head down the stairs. Here is the button to turn on the main elevator. And you're going to hear... Внимание персоналу. Лифты в секторе R введены в строй. Sector R. That is the main elevator being called. And if you head through that connector area, boom, here is main elevator. This works the same as med block elevator. Now I will show you the two least used extracts in all of lab's history. We are back in boiler room next to the cargo elevator button. This is probably the least used extract in all of lab's history. You're going to go through boiler room, make a hard left into this back pipe area. In between these two gated doors is the backpackless extract right there. The way you use it, much like interchange and reserve, have no backpack and you are free to leave. Now I'm going to show you the other least used extract, but the infinitely more annoying one. If you find yourself needing an extract, make your way through the basement in the most confusing way possible. All the way down to the sewer extract. Come to this panel. Turn on the pump and it'll quote unquote drain the water. And once the water is drained after a minute, here is where you extract just on the other side from the button. Finally. So you learned how to get into labs. You've learned a couple of call outs. You know my approach. You know where all the loot is and you know how to leave. If there's anything else that you would like more information on, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.